Right, today I've managed to find out how to emulate an RM Nimbus PC186 using MESS multiple emulator super system. Now, it works as you can see, I've got the RM Nimbus welcome screen. Do you remember this as a child or as a youngster? Because I do, at school. The computers are based on the um, ATA186 processor, uh, made by Intel. Um, but it's not entirely um, PC um, compatible and it's got a special video mode, it's not CGA I don't think and it's definitely not VGA um, the, these was used in schools around, in colleges around the country um, in the UK um, not sure about other countries they were produced by Art Research Machines Nimbus so we've got business graphics in it here and shows you some of its charts its capabilities and there we go but this video is um, just to let you know that finally cracked it um, so there is actually a working Windows um, Windows based RM Nimbus PC emulator now that it's there is a few problems with it um, it's a tiny bit slow it's not that slow um, there is also problems with I couldn't get the mouse to work on it, um, so you, you need, you're going to need. If you want to do it yourself, you're going to need the system ROM BIOS files, which are hard to come by. But you, if you look hard enough, you'll find them. And you're also going to need um, a floppy image like the one I've got in it at the moment, um, which is the welcome disk. Unfortunately, um, MES doesn't seem to support. Um, Allowed in from physical floppy disks, so if you do happen to have any of them Nimbus disks lying about, um, you can't use them unless you convert them to an image file. And just remember, if you do decide to convert them to an image file, it must be 720k because the RM Nimbus didn't have a high density disk drive. These trains, do you remember trains? There's slight graphics corruption as well, I've noticed, like them doors they're not fully there if you can see like by the numbers they should be like do full doors but they're not quite there but it's a start MESS is the only emulator I know of that's, that does this um, I haven't found a standalone RM Nimbus emulator I mean but quite impressed I managed to get it working um, because it wasn't easy it took me a few hours because I had to um, I have to load into real MS DOS on my own computer because Windows 7 doesn't support 720k floppies and I have to write a FLP file to real floppy and I have to use WinImage to check, convert that to an IMG file which the emulator supports. Here's Worm. I used to love Worm. Worm is brilliant. Just like just like Snake on your old mobile phone if you still have it. Just basically grab the numbers and your snake grass higher and you can change the speed and everything. So, it's not bad. It runs it perfect. I couldn't get the canvas application to work in this beer before. So we exit into MS DOS. This is the way we got the secret um, basic, RM basic. For some reason I didn't include that on the welcome menu. Here it is, good old RM basic. Yeah, hey, I'm in this basic. I used to do this in computer studies at school, and it was then about 1996, 1997. So our computers was a, our school it was a bit on the slow, and then um, getting the lowest than more modern machines. I mean, they had Windows 3.1 as well. Now, these computers are capable of running IBM based programs to an extent but not a lot of them worked even though it looks like a normal PC because that's like MS-DOS 3.0 I think it is so, there was a few um, demonstrations included with BASIC um, like this one just showing you some RM Basics graphics capabilities. 
and that's basically um, RM Nimbus emulation on a PC finally. Now, goodbye.